Remember that dazzling pillar of light, the magnificence that appeared before Brahma and Vishnu to end their argument. Curiosity triggering Brahma to fly upward as a swan and Vishnu to head the other way as a boar, but both giving up unable to find its beginning and end. Such was the infinite nature of this cosmic fiery pillar or the Jyotirlinga which was none other than Mahadev, the shunya, nothingness and the anant, that which is everywhere. It's 6:30 in the morning and I'm back on the road again. I'm on a 8 days or rashtra trip and this is day 3. I'm very excited about my next destination Dwarka, home to Lord Krishna and to Mahadev in the form of Nageshwar Jyotirlinga. But before that, we have a few interesting places to stop on the way. This is Mathurpur beach around 80 kilometers from Somnath. I'm just stepping onto the beach. You know this this camel ride and all that here. Nareel. The benefit of an early morning stop, free roads and a crowdless beach. And if you're lucky, an opportunity to just pause and reflect on life. Hey, thank you. The waters of this beautiful sandy beach is not considered safe for swimming, so think twice before you plan to jump in. Here also, unfortunately, we continue to litter and make a mess of such a pristine space. It's such a pity. Madhupur is a quaint little coastal town where Lord Krishna is believed to have gotten married to Rukmini. It is mentioned in the scriptures as Madhav Tirth. And this is my very first stop in the district of Porbandar. have gotten into the Portmandar uh, city left the highway and took a, a side road plan is to uh, try and locate huzur palace and if it is possible go to kirti mandir as well came to huzur palace but it is closed this grand huzur palace with an european influence architecture was built by rana navrat singh ji in early 1900s and now belongs to his successors I later came to know that this is not open to visitors. That's the best stand. It feels like a peaceful little town, Porbandar. I'm just seeing a very small part of it, but So I have come inside Girti Mandir. This is the birthplace of Gandhi ji. So there are sayings on the pillars, lot of photographs all around. Uh, there is a photo gallery on top as well. I kind of wanted to have a quick view of the place, just a short stop. So that was quick I just wanted to have a quick stop I think as a country we have a long way to go to get to a place where everyone can enjoy a decent way of life where you know they don't have to live in filth live with pigs all around a little heart wrenching to see the extreme to which people are living I'm back on the main road again and we have around 100 kilometers to cover to get to Dwarka. The concept bridge here. Right? There is a nice spot on the uh, way to Dwarka at around 1 kilometer away for one to stop and have a bite. It's called uh, Hotel Krishna Park. So, I'm here waiting for the driver to come. Then the plan is to go straight to the Jyotirling and uh, from there to the Gopi Tala. Not sure if we will be able to cover Beit Dwarka, but let's see. So that's the Dwarka temple from a distance. Dwarka Tish. So finally at uh, Nageshwar Jyotirling, it took around uh, 15 to 20 minutes more than what it showed on Google. So you may have to keep that in mind because the uh, road is not that great uh, as you come nearer to the. to this particular temple and also the traffic so i think the temple 
so over here. Surprisingly, they allow camera inside, so here I am. A silver snake covered by silver cloth rests on top of the lingam here. An elegant statue of Ma Parvati in her form as Nageshwari is right behind the lingam. As in any Shiv temple, the ever faithful Nandi symbolizing humility and the selfless devotee and the tortoise indicating detachment. The way it withdraws its limbs and head, reminding us to cut off from our senses and go inward to fully relish Lord's presence. Nageshwar is the 10th Jyotirlinga and like the rest, it also holds its own story of origin and significance. Legend has it that Dharika the demon captured and tortured the Shiv devotee Supriya at a city of Dharikavana inhabited by sea snakes and demons. Supriya set up a lingam and also encouraged other prisoners to chant Shiv Mandra. Lord Shiva, pleased by the devotion, vanquishes Dharika and his wife and resides there as Nageshwar. Sabudana. तो ये सफेद वाला रेवड़ी है गुजराती में हिंदी में आपको नहीं पता As per the scriptures, the temple has the power to shield devotees from all kinds of poison, both physical as well as spiritual, such as anger, temptation, and the like. I just got out. There is a garden here over here. There is another mandir over here, Shivji and uh, Parvati. Very peaceful over here. At the back, the temple slopes gently towards this beautiful Nageshwar Lake. And yet another attraction that we already saw, the 125 feet tall statue of Shiva right outside the temple. With this, I set off to Gopi Talab. I hope you will continue with me in this journey. Do subscribe if you like this video. The next episode is all about Dwarkadesh.